now, Dad. I think your buzzer's broken. Oh my God, Craig, come in. Here, let me get you a towel. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. What? Nothing. Besties. When my husband was diagnosed with IBS, it softened. I'm not saying fire him necessarily, but really? He's putting episodes on now? I was at that show for two years, and they hired Brian, what, four or five months ago? Oh, come on, don't give that to him. Oh, that was slow. It takes two people to have sex in a supply closet. That's all I'm saying. Really? A supply closet? It was a spur-of-the-moment thing. We weren't the worst in the office, either. They had to bring in a guy to repair that copy machine, like, every other week. Well, why not just call and ask him? The repair guy? No. I didn't get his number. Max, or... Brian, for that matter. About what? Well, if you think it's weird and want an explanation, why not just ask? Peter, you can't just ask somebody that. Why not? Why did you fire me for cheating but not the guy I cheated with? Yeah. Finally. You go. <laughs> hey, you guys. Um, does anybody have this table after you, or...? No. Uh, you want to put your names up? Yeah, thanks. You, uh, you want a break? No, 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 you go ahead. Okay. Fucking nice. Sorry I never met Max when you guys were together. Uh, Carol, the, the woman I was with before Amina, she, she used to watch the show. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty funny. Oh yeah? What happened to Carol? Oh, I don't know. She, uh, she wasn't really that nice, honestly. Oh, and Amina is your answer to nice. Oh, come on! You read her as cold because you two are always at odds. She really is very caring. Think of all those causes she supports. Oh, bullshit, Peter. Not one single case of gerbil diabetes was cured because I broke down and liked fight pet obesity. I told you, you should have gone to that event that she and Sarah planned for the, the adoption organization. Uh -uh. I think you would have really liked it. It was good work. Yeah, that's exactly where I want to be, Sarah parties. Save the world by bedazzling it. That's unfair. Peter, each invitation to that party weighed six pounds and looked like a fucking pride float. And the little pop out, Starving babies had like jazz hands and sparkled. I just think all of that money that they spent on the party could have gotten some children into some really nice homes. 
Well, you didn't come anyway, so isn't that kind of the definition of judging a book by its cover? No, that would be Seth Graham Smith's career, if you're going literal. Look, I'm sure it's a perfectly lovely organization. I'm just not comfortable with that much money around. It's like what we're really doing is congratulating Sarah for marrying Rich, even if we are curing the world of athlete's foot. I mean, it's just, it's just not my scene. But obviously it's yours, so. What's that mean? What? what? It, it, it's obviously yours. It, nothing. No, it means something. I, I just think that Amina has kind of a similar vibe to her. You think she's with me because of my money? No, oh, fuck, no. I'm sorry, I didn't mean for it to sound like that. I just, you have to admit. Because but... I'm terrific in bed. I'm sorry, what? I'm amazing, I'm like, Batman amazing. Is that um, one of his So his it's special... not because of the money, it's because of, you know. Batman. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure Bruce Wayne is a good comparison for somebody you wouldn't want to sleep with because of the money. I was totally kidding, though. Aw. Let me get you a beer. It's barely noon. Yeah, but beer is breakfast alcohol. It's like liquid pastry. It's great for mornings. Help keep, it curbs the coffee. I'm gonna get one. Yeah, get some jam. Put that with your bread. Some space jam. Batman. Hmm. Yeah, I, uh, I like that. Well, you're a sexy little kitten. Uh, mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Wait. Really? Why? No, I. That just doesn't sound... Okay, okay, no, okay. Um... I'll... <clears throat> I'll triumph you. Yes, I'm going to rub my heart. Uh, Maggie, I gotta go. I love you. Bye. Okay, fess up. How much did you hear? Nothing. So you're gonna dry hump a kitten later. I just wanted to make sure the proper authorities were informed. Great. It does sound like she's putting you up to it a little bit though. I am far from against dry humping, but I just think at this point in your relationship, you might wanna try it and go ahead and take off the clothes. Yeah, um, hey, Maybe. look. I, uh, I did some drawings after we talked the other day. Um, if you have time, you're would you You're really not gonna talk about to... this. We met in a sex store, remember? Look, just let it go. I'm just saying it's okay to explore, but if somebody's making you do something you don't want to do, you should stand up for yourself. Oh, yeah, because you're one to talk. I'm sorry. Um, I have drawings in the bar. Hey, Would you I like to nice come? I am nice to Amina because we share a living space. It's civility, not servility. No, I I know that. That's no. not what I'm I was sorry, just saying. talking about. It, what? I oh, meant. it's Thomas. Hey, babe. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. I'm just hanging out at the Triple Door, the place where Amina works. Just playing some pool with Peter. What's going on? Oh, nothing. Just thinking of you. Uh, gotta go, though. Uh, talk to you later. Bye. 